Hello, my name's Jason and welcome to another episode of me painting. Today we have a 20 by 16 canvas up and I've covered it with a uh, very thin even coat of liquid white. Now if you're interested in uh, how to uh, apply liquid white to a canvas then uh, check out the video that's going to pop up here and there's also a link in the description. Okay, let's get started on this one. We'll uh, grab our palette of colours <laughs> and let's let's go for some crimson, Prussian blue, Prussian blue, and Elizabeth crimson, and just tap, just tap, get an even distribution of colour. <laughs> okay. Now let's start at the top, just using crisscross strokes, and then work down. It gets lighter and lighter towards the horizon, which is what you want. Again, and down. Let's get some more of this colour. Just tap in, just tap in. And the top corner. This is a quite dark, moody sky. Maybe I'll leave that bit open there. Okay, and uh, I've got some water in this one. Well, hopefully. <laughs> I've got an idea in my mind. And I'm hoping to get it down on canvas. I've gone into a little bit more of the blue. A bit more of the crimson. And the water can be... Over comes across and then down, something like that. Okay, let's do some straight strokes. Okay, now using a clean, dry two inch brush, <laughs> let's start starting this light area. We'll just use these little crisscross strokes and start blending the sky out. Soften it up. The reason I started in the light area and worked out is so I don't pollute my light area. So if I start at the outside and work in, it's going to get darker inside. And I don't want that to get darker. I want that to stay quite light. off some of the excess paint there. Wipe it on a paper towel if you need to and then you can go into the light areas. Okay. And then this water. Pull this. Okay. Now let's use the one inch brush. Let's grab a bit of crimson, just a dark crimson there. And we'll go into some of this white. Some of this titanium white, make a pinkish color. And let's pull, pull in one direction. Pull in one direction, quite a lot of paint. And then you turn over and let's put in some more clouds, just spin in the brush, put in a white one there, it sort of goes like that, and maybe there's another one, maybe there's another one over here, tiny little circles, tiny little circles, that sort of goes like that. Okay, I'm using a clean, clean, dry two inch brush or cleanish. <laughs> Just uh, miss the base using the top corner, top corner, so of the excess paint. You don't want to touch the uh, the top part, just the bottom. 
you use the top corner of the brush so you can see it if you use the bottom you can't see it as well so use the top <laughs> it's easier and then uh, lift up lift up lightly just give it a lift and then go across lightly very lightly maybe we can do another layer there's another layer of clouds in front of that one again pull in one direction and then maybe there's a cloud that sort of lives there okay again corner of the brush just mix it up for the base and then lift up lift up and then across very lightly maybe I'll have a little uh, couple of clouds there as well just dot them in <laughs> nice and easy and then you can just go over those little float of clouds okay that'll do for our sky today now let's, uh, let's put in a mountain so um, blizzard and crimson Prussian blue, blizzard and crimson and Prussian blue. Uh, let's put in a little bit of midnight black as well. Blizzard and crimson, Prussian blue, and midnight black. And that's going to be our base colour for the mountain. So you pull it out very flat. Cut across and you get a little roll of paint. A little roll of paint. And our mountain pressing pretty hard. We'll have it there. And maybe there's a little peak there. Scrape off the excess paint. Scrape off the excess paint so then uh, when you pull it all down, you get the misty area. Plus, it makes it easier for your next layer to stick. Okay. Now, let's use, a, uh, let's use the old two inch brush again. Start pulling this out. It's following the angles. Following the angles. And this is a time you can create the shape of your mountain as well. Using your brush strokes. Thinking about which areas in front of which, which bit connects. And how you want it to look. I'm sort of thinking as I'm pulling this down maybe these two connect here around this area and maybe this sort of goes up like that and then that peaks in the background and a little crisscross strokes at the base. Okay just wiping the knife on a paper towel <laughs> Looking for a clean bit of paper towel. <laughs> okay. Let's grab some of this white. And pull it out. Pull it out very flat. And then cut across. Get a little roll of paint. And now we said that the highlight to side. So very light pressure. Just touch. And then let it glide down. Just let it glide down. Following the angles. Light pressure though. Very light pressure. That's how the paint breaks. Using that light. 
blood pressure. And we got we said that this was sort of gonna connect. Okay, and maybe a little peek in the background, let's put a little bit of paint on that. <laughs> and this sort of comes up here. Sort of like that. Let's start working on the shadow side. Let's use a bit of our original mountain mix and some white. I go a little bit less than that, so I've just taken some of the colour out and putting that with a white. Just makes it quicker to mix your lighter colour to split some of the dark away. <laughs> Okay, let's use this as our shadow colour. Push into there and very light pressure. We've got this one in the background, we should have really done this one first, but never mind. And this peak here. And then we've got this bit here, we can use the uh, top part of the knife. Same again, cut across all the paint. And you can, uh, in this area, sort of same as before, you're just sort of pulling it. It's a little trickier. <laughs> you could always use a uh, detail knife if you need. some more of the white again. Grab some more of the white and then we can clean up some of these areas. Add some extra more bits for it. Make this a little more obvious. Okay. Maybe there's some uh, Areas, maybe there's a little recess in there. Put a little bit of the white on that. That'll do for this mountain. Okay, using a uh, clean, dry two inch brush, just tap, following the angles very lightly. Oh, and the angles. You don't want to totally destroy it. Just want to mist it away a little bit. Oh, and the angles. And then lift up. Lift up. Okay, there's our mountain. Now using the. Uh, let's, uh, actually, let's put a hill in there. Let's put a hill in. Grab some of this dark colour and let's put in some sap green. And the one inch brush, a little bit of white, just to keep it quite light. And let's tap in a hill. Sort of there, sort of there. Maybe there's another another hill that goes along here as well. They're all connected. Okay. That's just a dark area. And then maybe. Let's put up full a little bit of this 
into your water. Okay. Clean, dry, two inch brush. Pull that down. Then go across. Okay, and then uh, let's start putting some highlights on there. Let's grab some of this cad yellow, yellow ochre, Indian yellow, sap green, and then give it a little push. Give it a little push, get a little ridge of paint. Get one of those on your bristles. And let's have a pink. So the light is more on this one side. So we're just following the angles of the land. These are just hills. Just hills. And then you're looking Looking at the angles of the hill and there are little highlights here and there. Okay, now then, there's a bit on there as well. Maybe we can start bringing some trees in here and there in the foreground now. Let's, uh, before we start doing that, let's grab a fan brush. Go for a number three fan brush. Number three fan, let's get some of this, this white, titanium white, a little bit of the blue. And I just want to uh, sort of add some little water lines here and there. Trying to keep them quite straight. Just want to break up this. Some of these you won't see anyway, but I just want to put some in where you will see. Okay. Now let's let's put in some let's put in some trees over here. Let's grab the old two inch brush. <laughs> some paint. Sap green, midnight black, Prussian blue. Lizard and crimson, just pull in one direction with the two inch brush. One direction. And let's say we've got let's put this land in here. <laughs> While we've got the big brush going. Let's block this in. It sort of goes like that. And then we've got our tree. And he goes up there, up there, above and here. We've got a tree that lives there. And we've got a few bushes here. I'm just I'm touching, just touching. Grab some of this white. While I'm at it, let's just uh, let's put a little bit of action in that water. Okay, back to 
to the old uh, big brush maybe over this side Put some land more colour. Let's grab some more colour. Crimson and uh, Prussian blue. Putting some dark in here as the water starts to all develop. <laughs> it just goes into this area and it all squeezes in and then you get a little waterfall. <laughs> so we'll put that in. Picking up a little bit of liquid clear, a little bit of liquid clear. I go into my white, tiny bit of phthalo blue. And then let's start to the water sort of in and A splash in there. And underneath. So just splash in and churn in. So I'm just touching and pushing up. Right, it's hitting rocks and just playing. Okay, now let's start. Let's start working on this tree over here. Let's grab some of this Van Dyke brown and some dark sienna. Van Dyke brown, dark sienna. Let's just go through this blue and white on one side. So we've got two colours. You get the light side and the dark side. And now our highlights come in this way, so we'll put it in like this. There's another branch that goes there, there's one there. And you can do your highlight and shadow in one one stroke. I think there's a few trees over here. Maybe one there. One here, but it's got a bit of a kink in it. I think there's one there as well. Who knows? I think there's another one. Maybe he's further forward. Maybe he comes to about there. Well, we'll mess around with that in a minute. Back to the old two inch brush. Let's grab some leaves. <laughs> Let's put some leaves on these. This is just the dark part of the leaves. Just the dark part, and then we can come in and we can highlight them afterwards. Either use it sideways or forward. Doesn't matter. As long as we've got areas where there's going to be leaves. 
Right. Now then, let's highlight those. Actually, before we highlight them, let's put in uh, get some liquid clear. Let's go into this. Maybe this one. Bring that across. Just spin, spin your bristles. Thin colour. Maybe we'll put in some little branches as well. Little branches. So these little details, not all of them will show through, but some of them will. And it'll give your tree a bit more depth. Just wherever. The more you put on, the better your tree tends to look, I find. <laughs> few on this one as well. Now, dip my brush into some liquid white, dipped into some liquid white, and now going into my yellow, cad yellow, yellow ochre, pulling in one direction, sap green, okay, one direction. Now I'm going to highlight my trees. So they highlight mainly this side, so just above dark touch touch and push touch and push put in little highlights and it's light pressure light pressure to get the uh, lacy effect just a light brusher. <laughs> Thin paint, thinner paint, stick to a thicker paint. So not only is it a thinner paint, but you're also using not much pressure. A bit more green. have a look at your tree, see where you feel it needs more of a highlight. You can uh, really fill out <laughs> big areas quite quickly using this big brush. Looks a bit scary at first but you can do it. Maybe there's a bit there as well. And then we'll start working forward. Put in some more little bushes. Maybe using the brush sideways. Just sort of pushing up. A bit more of that green. Just sort of touching and pushing. Okay. And maybe there's a maybe there's an orangey bush there. I've gone into some bright red, pulling down as like just like before. And maybe there's a bush right here. Another one there. There's another one right there. 
and you can use this colour and you can change the flavour a little bit here and there. Okay. Okay, I'll do. And uh, well, maybe we can put a little bit in the water as well. <coughs> Using a clean, clean dry brush, just pull that down. And go across. And back to our fan brush with the white on. A little bit more of that white. Then we can start just cleaning up these edges. maybe when you step back and have a look you start to see extra things that you might have missed maybe there's some some land land here some land and then you can put some of this grass over it Okay, and uh, with the knife you can like scrape in some little sticks and twigs here and there. Sort of scrape off the dark and then you remove the light. Wherever. And then these as well. And maybe there's a little bird in the sky. Let's put in a little bird. A little bit of a uh, colour. Let's, let's go a bit of midnight black. Midnight black. <laughs> I got the Prussian blue then. We'll go midnight black. Okay. There's a little bird, a little M bird. One there. Have a few. Okay, let's uh, sign this one. Some bright red. Paint thinner. I'm going to be thin as ink. Got a nice orangey colour, orangey red. And down here, let's give it a J B and a little bird for the masters. Oh, hope you enjoyed this one. It's got a uh, a lot for you to uh, work on and uh, some good practice with a two-inch brush. And uh, hope you give it a go. I'll see you again soon. Cheers.